All right, our chickens are now over eight weeks old. The weather's starting to get warm, so it's time to send them outside today. Hi guys, you ready to go outside? You ready to go outside? You guys are too big. You have too many feathers. You'll be okay. I had to trap them all in their own little run right now because it is super nice today. And our baby chicks who are now seven weeks old, who are about to be leaving us from inside the house this weekend and coming outside the house, have never been outside. So since it's only a few days beforehand, we figured let's take them outside for a trip. You got one? Yeah. Are they outside? Yeah. I think you got the rooster this time. That's okay. I wish <laughs> Bailey likes rolling around in the chicken poop, so she gets an outdoor bath right now. Hey. If you're wondering about like when you're gonna bring your chickens outdoors, they usually say about after six weeks, seven weeks, they're gonna start to have their full feathers in, so that's usually your safe bet. But you can tell when you bring them out, if you brought them out and they're really making a lot of noise and chirping really loud, that means they're probably not ready yet. Right now, as the girls are with them and Chelsea's playing with them, they're not making any noise, they're hopping around, and you can tell how full feathered they are, so. We've always just been, I guess, longer than we probably should have them in the house. But what the good thing is, is like I said, in two days we're gonna have our chicken tractor be brought to us and these guys are gonna be living outdoors here in just two days. The rain is starting to fall down, but we have word that they are on the way delivering the coop. You excited for a new coop? Yep. chicken wire all around it through there and that gives it that extra with the cow paneling so I think it's gonna be the perfect amount of protection for them it is quite heavy so we are gonna need to probably get bigger wheels than we already had for it we're probably also gonna have to buy some kind of tarp for it tomorrow as well um, there's no cover for it they made it seem like they were gonna bring a tarp kind of cover for it there is not unfortunately our chicks are not out tonight but hopefully tomorrow night. Chelsea's afraid for them anyways because it's supposed to thunderstorm and she's like, oh, well maybe we should wait till the thunderstorms are gone. I don't want their first night to be like that, that's all. I'm back from work. I bought some tires. We're gonna attach the tires to this and hopefully we can pull it in the back. Let's see if it works. Ready, Dad. Okay, I'm gonna lift it up. You gotta slide it so that we land it on top so this goes on top of it, okay? okay. One, two, wait. Three. Push. Push. Babe, push it. Just push it, baby. No, it's got to So this is the attempt. The wheels are on. And we're going to try manpower. When I went to go buy the hitch and everything that I wanted for the lawnmower, they didn't have the piece that we needed. So I said, we'll buy the wheels and we'll do manpower. I made that decision without talking to Chelsea about it. for the big day. Yes. If you haven't seen previous vlogs, they're in our bathroom. That's why it has to happen. Ready?
chickens are over in their new coop. You hear one of our big chickens here talking. But we got the eight week olders out. Um, what I'm gonna do now is we have a pallets here from projects and deliveries that we've gotten. I'm gonna put one in there diagonally up against so they have something to jump up and roost up. All right, it's been a few hours since we've had them outside now. As you can see, my wife gave me a haircut. The chicks have been doing really good out here. Um, I do think they enjoy it. I put this pallet out for them to roost on. It looks like they've been chilling more underneath it than going on top of it, which is okay. Uh, they need that form of shelter to make them feel safe. So I'm not mad that they're doing that at all. It makes me happy that they have some place where they're feeling more safe. But they've been doing really good out here. If they were not ready, what you would notice is that they'd be like making really loud chirp noises. They'd probably be bundling together really close in a corner, trying to get warm. And that would make you know that they are not ready for this kind of outside temperature. But they've been doing this. They've been hanging out and they're doing a really good job. You coming to see the chicks? Yeah. This okay. one has been trying to pick them all up. Careful with them. Her. Snowflake, you watching the baby chicks? I'm just kidding. You guys aren't babies. You guys are like teenagers. How you guys doing? So a few things. Oh, this is perfect. It's actually taller than I am. So the other day we had somebody come by and they made this. We found a really good price on it. Right now we don't have a cover for it. We have a cover, we just haven't put it on yet. Uh, we've had them enjoying the sunlight for what this is, but we probably will cover about half of it over the top and that'll allow them to have sun still on the one half, but it'll keep the food and the roosting portion that we're gonna have on the other half over here on the back end. So I think that'll help them. Um, we're not gonna cover the whole thing. Although this is a great size, if we would have got one that's even bigger than this, it could have been an idea for the winter time to cover it up pretty good. So they kind of had like a hoop coop during the winter time, but this will be good. Did you get one? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to show you when we go. Yeah. So. For anyone out there wondering of when to bring your chicks out, when's the right time. If you want to be safe, usually anything after eight weeks is the best time. That's usually when they have all their feathers at that point. So that's usually a time that you can bring them outside. Obviously, it depends on all you, what you guys want to do. We're excited to finally get them out now after thinking that it was going to happen about a few days ago. They have enjoyed it. There's charts out there for temperature wise by the weeks of how old they are from like two weeks to eight weeks old. What kind of temperature they want to be. This one will just pick up every single one of them that walks by. Bringing them outside is one of these great days of having chickens. Yeah, your yeah. hair is a mess. Yeah. What do you got behind your back? Nothing. It's Yo. Just hair? Yeah. Okay, what were you gonna say? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. But bringing the chicks outside is such a grateful and just great feeling kind of day. After watching them be in a brooder box and not really having all the room they need, not being outside where an animal's supposed to be, um, it's just kind of a sad feeling to after the time of when they get to like four or five weeks old and they realize that they've just been like in this kind of box this whole entire time. But to see them outside, right now hiding from my daughter, that's not the best feeling. But to see them out here like that, it does make me very happy. Um, I think that most people, this is one of those days as a chicken owner that you feel a little better about yourself and just feel happy for them. It's also one of the nerve wracking days because now the next thing that happens is crossing your fingers and how they do during their first night when you can't be there to help them out. Hopefully they handle that okay. Theo, you ready for this, Theo? You ready? Chelsea's out here. Delilah's in there chasing the chicks. Time to put a cover on the top of this so that they can sleep under here a little bit safer tonight. As you can see, we were able to get the tarp on very tight. Uh, I liked using the two by fours down here. 
Uh, as I showed you guys, I screwed this 2x4 and that's going to help keep it even more taut so that it's nice and tight. I think that we got it down actually as tight as what I thought like we could actually get with this kind of tarp. So I'm happy there. I cut very good with the blade, so it's nice and even, right size that we need. For this portion right here, which worked out really nice, is we use these like, I call them utility clips. And it was able to get onto the chicken wire and through the hoop of the tarp. So it involves no cutting. It shouldn't rip, really. I mean, unless it's super, super strong wind, then maybe. But because that's not going on a piece of the tarp itself, it's on that plastic hook of those. That should hold it even stronger, so I'm very happy about that idea. I was able to staple the back of it a little bit. I stapled across towards the bottom of all of it. So I'm thinking it would take a really, really strong wind to really do some damage to that. And I hope that it's gonna hold up during the snow season because we're hoping to put this in our chicken run for our new chicken coop that'll be coming in once we're able to put both the chickens together and that will allow them to have a cover for during the winter season so they can kind of free range a little bit more and kind of get out of their coop and not just enjoy their coop and stay away from the snow. It's always a little nerve wracking. I remember the first time when we had our other chickens going around, leaving them outside for the first time at nighttime, but I hope these guys do okay. We're not used to having this open kind of hoop house kind of thing. We're used to having the coop where um, they're kind of enclosed in the box where we kind of knew they were maybe a little bit safer I shouldn't have to worry, but it's one of those things that you just, you don't know until you show up the first night and you just hope they do okay. But they've been adjusting well. Uh, they've been out here roaming around. The only thing they're afraid of is this thing over here that wants to pop her head over, Bailey. I'm gonna close the door up, but I'll probably come out here one more time to check on them, but getting a little nervous for them. Hopefully everything goes okay. You guys protecting the chickens out here so we're out here i just kind of wanted to see how our chicks are doing here see how they where they found to sleep oh you guys found the pallet okay have a good night okay i was just checking out good night it's the morning and look at all this containers of food that i have to bring outside now i'm gonna go check on the Big chicks first. Hopefully the little ones are okay, but we're gonna let these ones out first cause they get a little loud. I decided to give them table scraps to start the day today. Uh, just give them a little treat to wake up to and say hi. So I don't hear these little ones chirping right now. Oh, I'm starting to see them. They're running. T I don't know if I've counted five though. How many of you guys? Are hi guys. They, you're all here. You made it. You guys want your food? Here. Good morning, everyone. All right. The little ones made it through their first night. Oh, it is a little nerve wracking, not knowing how they do. And like I said, this is such a big open coop. It probably is a little cooler. What do you think? You don't like being on that side, huh? They're too little for play with you right now. We'll wait till they get a little older. Same with you, Mr. Milo. Mm -hmm. Right now they're gonna be in that coop probably for the next, I don't know, even maybe even month, two months, probably even close to two months till they can get some more size. And then maybe we'll try to see about mixing them up together and seeing if that works. We have our big coop being delivered here next week, almost like a week from today. So that'll be nice because then they'll be able to all fit. Right now they wouldn't be able to fit where we have them all anyways. But being at the size that they're at, it's not the smartest idea to try to mingle the flocks at the moment. But as soon as we can, it's gonna be so cool coming out and watching them all be together. But for now, they get that little thing. I mean, although I say small at the moment, that's huge based on what they were just in before that, before we brought them outside. They're super happy probably being where they're at. So what I gotta do right now is I gotta go get the waters so that each of them drink some water this morning. It's a successful two days of transferring the chickens out of here and into the coop that they need to be in now. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. We'll see you in the next one.